Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're using the great Divi Plus plugin for the Divi theme today, and we're going to show you how to pop up some models. Now you can pop them up from a button. And you can pop up a modal from an image. You can pop up content that you've already got saved in your library. You can pop up from an icon. And you can pop up from text. And it's really easy to do. And there's great features to have on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. So I'll just create a new row. Put three columns in there, it really doesn't matter. Divi comes with all the light gray ones that just say the name right here. Anything with DP in front of it are the ones that you get with Divi Plus. And there's some great additions here, there really are. The one we want today is DP Modal. So I'm going to click that one and we'll pop it in there. By default, as you can see, it puts in a little button. You want to give your modals a unique ID. So this is number five, so I'm going to call mine number five. You can choose to trigger it on an element. We've got a button and there's an element there. Or you can trigger it when the page loads. So you've got a pop up there like that. would be great for a little cookie pop up or something like that. Or you can trigger it on exit intent, which is when they go up to exit out of the page up here. I'm going to use element for my moment. Obviously put whatever text you want your button to say in there. I'm going to leave mine on click me is fine today. And you can say close button on escape if you want them to be able to use the escape button. That's not a bad idea. OK, inside here we can design our model header. Give it a title. My new modal. Show a close icon if you want to. It's not a bad idea. Here we've got our modal body. And it's like a regular text item. And what I'll do, I'll just put a bit of lorem ipsum in here. Once we've done this first one, I'll show you how you can actually pop up layouts that you save to your library. So for the first one, I'm just going to use a bit of lorem ipsum right here. So let's grab a bit of this. And simply paste it in here. And like any text module, you can do headings, bold, italicize, link things, align things, and add media if you want to. So we've got our content in there. You can have a modal footer and choose to show it right here. And it's got a little close button on it. Now if we look in the background, you've got separate backgrounds for trigger element background. Well, this is our button today. So let's change that to blue. You've got a modal background overlay. Now the overlay is what you see behind the pop-up when it pops up. So you can choose a color for it. I like to see a bit of the site behind, so I'll bring the opacity of my color down a little bit for that one. Now here's the background for the actual modal itself. I'm going to leave mine on the default white there. You can choose whatever color you want or take it away altogether if you want to. Here's the header background if you've cho chosen to display a header. Let's make that purple today. The modal body background. Again, that's where our text is going to be. You can choose a different color here. Modal footer background. Let's make that purple as well. And when we go on to our design, you can align it. At the moment, our button's aligned on the left. Let's put it in the middle there. Remember, I've only got three columns on this one. There's four above. Here's the trigger button. You can use custom styles for it to style it how you want. I'm just going to make my text white. I'm going to take any border away. Of course, you can put a hover color in if you want to in the background right here. Hit the arrow if you want to put a, a hover color in. Desktops when your mouse is not on it. When your mouse is on it, Hit the hover, put in whatever color you want. So we'll have it purple on hover and blue on non hover. You can change all your font styles, your letter spacing, your icon, everything here, just like a regular Divi theme module. 
I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Might just add a little bit of box shadow to that. Okay, we're not using text. Here's our modal title. We gave it a, a purple background, I believe. So let's just make text color white. And again, you can change font sizes, anything you want there. Body text, I'm going to leave just as it is. Close icon, I'll leave that as it is. Close button. Let's use custom stars for our close button. Text color, I'm going to have as white. Background color, I'm going to have as black. There we go. And you can choose your icons, anything like you can do with a regular button. Okay. Don't particularly want to put any box shadow or border. You can do sizing here with your motor. At the moment, it's going to pop up in the center, which is where I want it. I'm going to leave mine on auto, which will pop it up the size of the actual thing. But you can put custom sizes there if you want to. OK. Well, I think we're pretty much done with this first one. Let's save this. Save the draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the Visual Builder. And if we go down now, we can click on this. And there it is. There's our little modal popped up with our close button, close icon, header and footer. You can click on the close or just click anywhere outside of it if you prefer. Okay, that's great. That's that's one way of doing it by uh, just adding content of your own. But when you install Divi Plus, when you save things to your library, it'll give you a short code, which is really handy. And I'll show you why. Let's save something to our library. Let's save this image right here. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Now I've got an image right here. I'm just going to save this image module to my library. Image pop, call it what you will. It's a good idea to call it something you'll recognize. I'm going to save it to my library. Okay, what I'm going to do is go to my library now, the layouts. If anybody doesn't know how to get there, dashboard, Divi, and it's Divi library right here. Now when I refresh, that image pop should be in there. There it is. I'm going to copy this short code over here. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to duplicate this one right here rather than go through it all again. And let's go in this one. Okay, and for our content, I'm still going to use a header. I've got to give it a separate number, a unique number. And for our model header, I don't want to show it. So I just want to see this image pop up for the model body itself. For the content, I'm going to replace what I've got in there with the short code I just copied. There's our short code. And again, I don't want a footer, so I'm going to turn the footer off. You can choose what background you have in. I'm just going to leave the trigger element just as it is for expediency. Our background overlay, I think that color will be fine again. I'll take the opacity up just a little bit for that. Model background or modal background itself. I don't want anything in there, so I'm going to make that transparent. And the body background similar. Don't want anything in there, just want to see the image itself. Okay, well, let's save this. and exit the Visual Builder. OK, this time it's going to pop up an image for us. Well, there we go. And it's going to, the overlay is blacked out the back there. Anywhere that they click off of here. OK, well, let's just do one more and we'll perhaps pop up a video. So what I'll do, let's enable the Visual Builder again. Let's create something to pop up. I'm going to create a YouTube video. So I'm going to go down and use a regular Divi video module. 
get rid of the one that's in there, add my own. I'm going to add it from URL because I'm going to get a YouTube video URL. I've got my URL, so I'm going to paste it in there. There's the video. I'm going to insert it into the post. Okay, so we've got our little video right there. Now I'm going to save this to my library exactly the same as we did before. Bid pop. Now if I go to my library and refresh again, there's vidpop up the top there. I'm going to grab that short code. Control C to copy. Let's go back to our page. Now I can delete this. Don't need it anymore because it's in our library. I'm simply going to duplicate this button again. Of course you can create a new one for yourself, whatever you want to do. I'm just doing copying my button for expediency. Again, we'll go in, go down to the model body and put our new short code in there. Save that. Exit the visual builder. And we've now got a pop up video. Well, there we go and let's exit out of there hi guys and not only can you pop up just individual saved modules you can do whole rows and things for instance if i go into my layouts here i've got a row saved there so i'm going to grab the short code for this row right here and we'll go back And this time we'll go in and let's just change this from a button to a piece of text just for fun. Text. I'm putting row in there because that's what we've actually saved. And again, we need to go to our model body and we'll swap the short code for the new one that we just copied. And as I've got text in there, I don't want a background color in there. So we'll go down to background, trigger element background. I'm going to make that transparent. There we go. So we just got a piece of text there. And of course you can style that text over in the design if you want to. So let's save this and see what we've got now. Exit the visual builder. There's our little bit of text. When I hover over it, there's our little hand icon indicating something's going to happen. And there we are, it's popped up the two little flip boxes from our row. So there you go guys. There's how to use the great modal pop-up from the Divi Plus plugin. Great little addition to any site. And they've got some wonderful little features with this plugin. And if you want to check it out, you can do so from my affiliate link below the video here. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.